Let me just start off this video by saying this game is absolutely amazing. It's a management game where you'll have to manage time, food and sleep while taking on different jobs for money and training to become the world champion. And behind all that is a really interesting and crazy story. So today I'm going to unlock all 50 trophies in Punch Club 2, earning me a new platinum for the collection. Fluffy, no! Wait, what? Am I playing Stray? There's no other choice. You killed our father. It's payback time. I am your father, okay. Give me your other paw. All right, well, here it is. Welcome to Fight Club 2. It's a game I've had my eyes on a little bit since it came out. Wow, what a strange dream. Yeah, it's, it's a game I've had my eyes on. Definitely seems like my kind of game. I was gonna play the first one, but it doesn't have a platinum, so I thought, screw it, let's just jump straight into the second. Nightmares again. Oh my god, just got laid out. Prologue. Leaving the shell. All right, here we are. We're in game. What a crazy dream. Time for the daily routine. Good morning, my old reliable Matt. I'm gonna do some push-ups. Hell yeah. Was he want some food? Oh, have I got no money? Mr. Spencer, time for breakfast. Invalid request. That never happened before. Let's try it again. Invalid request. No food available. Maybe it's jammed. He's shouting his mum. Does he, does, does he still live with his mum? Is this like the basement or something? Waking up his mum. I'm hungry. How old is this guy? Looks like he's at least in his mid-20s. He's asking his mum to make him food. So is this like a is this like a futuristic type thing? Like a cyberpunk type deal? If you can just get food from a, a machine like that? Wait, what? I was just chatting with a mum. He said he'll never leave. Give me a hug. And then I get credits. Wait, did I just complete the game? <laughs> what? Okay, that is not what I was expecting. Alright, new game, I suppose. Alright, so let's open the map. We're gonna go over to Henry's house for some food. But from the looks of things, it seems like there's like an open area we can kind of like travel between different locations. Alright, so Henry's giving me a little bit of dough. He's told me to go over to the shop. He's kind of, my character's like, no, I can't go to the shop. It's too far. And then the, he's just like, grow up, kid. It's around the corner. So we're gonna go to Apu's shop and go and buy ourselves some food. Bro, is this the is this shopkeeper? Just a head on a, in a thing. That's kind of creepy. Okay, buddy. Just press the green button to buy the items. Oh, you can manage that. I mean, how else would you have got in this game? <laughs> Breaking the fourth wall. Like it. Unless you tyrannied it. Which is, you know, cough, cough, illegal. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna buy a burger for Henry's burger and a cooking kit. Here we go. We've got a new goal as well. Bring Henry's burger. Okay, cool. Oh, look at that over there. You see that? Happy cheeks. It's a seashell. I'm guessing that's like a demolition man easter egg where uh, Stallone's characters like, why is the seashells in the toy? and is they basically scoop out off the poo with a seashell which is disgusting oh is a robbery what wait we're gonna fight him the dude said he was gonna rob the store so now we're fighting him you can insert abilities into slots each row has a specialization let's use an attack ability let's pick one of the abilities available kick the more abilities you choose the more school perks will be activated all right so yeah we got kick can we do another one and then we got punch what does that mean no attack skip attack phase and restore energy and we've got like defense items and modifiers all right i guess we're gonna bite this guy we're probably gonna get our asses beat right so yeah it's obviously it's kind of like a, a simulation game so we don't actually do the fights i don't think we obviously improve his stats and select kind of the strategy to use and then hope we win which we absolutely did not win this one but we did it seems like we did kind of get a little bit of mastery it seems there so for the punch we got plus four and the kick we got plus one so it seems like you can improve moves that you've got all right well there's our first fight we got slapped up Oh shit, we're going to prison. Thanks for not writing me out. Snitches get stitches. Thank you though. Come by the slime farm if you need a job. New goal, find out about Lil Bobo's job. Oh, so we're gonna get ourselves a job. My man's out getting out there already. Now tell me, son, what have you done to your GPP chip? Never had one. No idea what a GPP thing even stands for. Goal complete. What happened to my father? He was a fighter, one of the greats. The rest of the info is classified. Oh, so his dad was a fighter? Okay, you'd have to be a police officer. Well, have I got to become a police officer? I need 2,000 GPP. New goal, get 2,000 GPP. Come a cop my man's only just getting out the house and he's already getting a job on the side and becoming a cop bro this stuff's just falling onto this kid's lap right so we got to get this chip gpp means good person points the more you have the better you are getting over nine thousand. okay of course it's nine thousand. officially makes you a good person that's when you can get into upper city or where all your dreams come true okay so how do we get these a martial arts tournament okay I, I, i'm digging this this is good there now you have a chip 
Oh, and we got our first trophy as well. Good person chip. Can this device read my thoughts? It probably can. Are you ready to have a look in your multi-passport? Maybe there's something edible in there. So this is where you'll find all your food. Choose what you want to eat. Delicious. Just don't overdo it on the snack, big boy. And one last thing, every fighter should visit Silver's Gym. It's the best place for training. So we've got the chip. We're going to enroll at the gym. We need to try and get good person points to become a police officer. And we've got a side job that we need to check out. Okay, thank Things are, there's already a lot of things we need to do. And we've got $40. My boy's rich. All right, back to the map. Where are we off? We're going back home. Oh, it seems like there's a time mechanic as well. I just saw in the top right there that as we were kind of like traveling back home, time was advancing quite quickly. So maybe time plays a factor as well. So his dad won the tournament and then disappeared. Here we go. Chapter one, big city life. I'm already really digging this. I'm actually oddly invested in the story as well, which I definitely didn't think was going to happen. All right, let's grab some food. All right, so we got my cooking kit. Food from the shop needs to be prepared before eating. Preparation time is written here. So it takes a minute and 30 or an hour and 30 i'm not sure it's more healthy and higher than fast food but mum already told you that right okay to eat something press the button buddy all right now you're ready for great things so what do, i'm guessing it just kind of advances that amount of time let's see what brave new world has in store for you open up your multi-passport here are your guests you can bring henry the burger that he asked for. oh yeah we still got henry's burger aren't we it's gonna be freezing i'll oh, talk with little bobo about working on the farm or visit the Silver's Gym. It's up to you, buddy. Good luck. So we've got a lot of different options we can do. So you can see here, yes, yeah, so it's kind of like a little timeline. The, the green ones are when we've completed them. So let's go bring Henry's burger then. Henry, where you at? I'm gonna bring you your burger, mate. Yeah, so you can see here. So if we walk, it'll take 25 minutes. And if we pay $2 for the bus, we'll be there in basically less than a minute. So yeah, I'm still not too sure how time's gonna play a factor, maybe age or something. For now though, we don't have much money so i think i'll walk all right so we've given him the burger now he wants to watch a, an action film i mean the dude give me some money and he's helped me out and he's basically the sole reason my dude's actually getting anywhere in life right now so that sounds good let's do it i don't even see a tv where oh he's got an actual like projector he he's, sleeps in a sleeping bag what the hell he's got a projector but a sleeping bag all complete well that was a good movie look he got some old school respect let's check what we can do with it so we earned some respect these are perks from the movie that you can unlock. Oh, so we kind of like learn stuff from watching stuff as well. So we can pick perks. So we got the basics, push-ups, increase the effectiveness. Fifth, I think it said we got 40 or 50 respect. So we're going to buy this push-ups for 25. All right, so we got a new goal. going to go and get some tapes from the shopkeeper. We're going to get, a, so we got another side job, noodle making at the club street. Tell him he sent us. Okay, so now we're going to have two side jobs. Let's ask about the tapes. Hundred dollars, bro. I've got. I've only got five. Right, so I'm gonna have to come back when I've got a hundred dollars, so I can buy the tape. So we're gonna have to obviously do some of those side jobs to get a little bit of money. So I think there was a an odd job at the Bobo's farm. I think he said he had a job for us. So let's head there actually before we leave you can see in the top left we've kind of got like a health thing and then i'm not sure what the second one is it looks like a balloon i don't know and then the third one's like a, an energy meter so my guess is we're gonna have to obviously make sure we're stocked up on food and stuff oh okay so they give different things so this one gives 15 of energy and whatever that balloon looking thing is i don't know so let's buy i mean we still don't have a lot of money so let's that gives 45 so let's buy that and i think we're good for now all right let's get to work so it seems this job we're basically gonna be punching slimes and we got a second trophy your first job now you see getting a job wasn't so hard right yep so yeah for this job we're gonna be punching slimes apparently so i guess we'll we'll figure it out oh so you can see his like i'm guessing that's the good guy point so whatever he's got 1852 i've got none all right so Here's Club Street. This was another area we needed to go to. I think this was another job, if I remember right. Oh, yeah. So this was the noodle job. Right. So that punching slime one, it says I got the job, but I didn't actually do anything. So I don't know if you actually take part in it or, or if you have to wait until a certain time where you can do it. All right. Pushing noodles. So there's my second job now. Oh, yeah, you go. So it says start work. So let's do that. See what happens. So we can get a promotion as well. So noodle cooking. Uh, it seems like for this shift, we'll get 
$28. So if I press that, yeah, so time skipping ahead and we're of course gonna get some cash. Come back at night. Yeah, so you, you have to come back at certain times. Okay, so we earn a little bit of cash there. I'll happily take what I can get. All right, so my next objective then, I guess, is to head over to the Silver's gym because it wanted me to enroll. Let's do this. We'll complete bulking up the build. All right, find out what the Russian Mafia. What? The Russian Mafia? Okay. All right, so we're gonna enroll in the tournament. All right, so we're at the gym. We can do the fights and we can go through here as well. It said it's the gym. First, though, we're gonna sign up. It's a list of fighters in the league. So we're gonna have to work our way to the top of the league, I guess. So our first fight is against JD. Okay, so time plays a factor in this as well. The fights are at certain times. And then once we sign up and accept a fight, we've got a certain amount of time to actually do the fight. And if we don't do it in time, we completely miss the fight, which I would imagine will be pretty bad and probably kick us down the, the league. All right, let's uh, see if we can get our first fight and our first win. Come on, bro, get those combos going. He's literally blocking like nothing. I just stood there. No head movement. Oh, it's rounds as well. So we're in round three right now. Damn, I'm going to lose, bro. I'm going to lose against this first guy, man. My guy's getting his ass slapped. I got beat up at the store. And now my first fight, it looks like I'm going to lose as well. I mean, it's close. Oh, yeah, he's going to beat me. He's, he hits me one time and it's over. If he just jabs me once, it's GG. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> I lost. Oh, this is not going well for my guy at the start. We almost mastered these, though. Train some more. Take this protein bar, son. Help restore your health and get you back a bit of energy. So we're going to have to hit the gym and work on our techniques and strength, stamina, all that good stuff, I'd imagine. I mean, I guess we'll start with a warm-up. I mean, deadlift increases strength. Breakdancing is stamina, I guess. All right, so just skipping rope. All right, so he said check out the Robo Factory Junkyard or something. I think he said there was something like Yakuza there. So I think... I think we need to go home, maybe cook or rest. Can we just rest? All right, so we've got exercise equipment in here, but it's all broke. Yeah, literally everything's broke. Okay. And then we can sleep for energy, but we still obviously need to make sure we're eating. So this gives me 45. So that's improved it quite a lot. All right, so now let's head to the junkyard. Oh, so we can get spare parts from here to fix the exercise equipment. Sweet. I'd imagine we're going to need more money for this as well. We're already saving up the $100 for the tape. Right, so this is all the equipment to fix it all. So that's the three pieces of equipment. We need $120 for each of those, which is quite expensive. And we got some food there. I'm not sure what that is. Grant's about, oh, it's like a buff. Okay. So yeah, we're going to have to save up for all of these as well. Oh, we got another job. Bending for the Mafia. Start work. So now we're working for the Mafia as well. Okay. Signing in available now. I'm not sure what that is. But let's just keep working. Earn ourselves some cash. We're getting low on food again. Right, well, we're going to have to go to the shop to buy some more food with the money we just earned. This one gives 45, so that's probably the best. I think I'll probably stock up on those. Let's make some... What am I doing? I'm trying to eat something. What I'm trying to do... Oh, we're making too much noise. I'm trying to sleep. I mean, I'm sorry, bro. I've got to have some food, but I've got to dying out here. Starvation. Buy some snacks. Sleeping pills will help us sleep. Oh, I've got to go to the shop and get us some sleeping pills. I've only got $11, though. Will I even be able to afford it? Ask about sleeping pills. You got any sleeping pills, bro? Sweet candies in the vending machine that help with sleeping. Oh, okay. Look at this. Candy vending machine. Here it is. One candy. Three dollars. Five or ten. I mean, I'm broke at the minute, so I can only afford one. So that's all I'm getting. All right, let's go back home. Give mum the sleeping candy so she sleeps through the night. And then I can maybe actually make some food. How do I give it to her? Maybe if I like wake her up by trying to make food again. Maybe these candies will help. There we go. Let's give her some candy. All right. Hopefully this will get her to sleep and we can go make ourselves some food. Oh, we got a trophy for it as well. Intriguing candies. These candies help your mom to sleep. What a smell. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, another trophy. Depressed visitor. You met Kay. Seems a little mysterious. Yeah, this guy, uh, we need to go figure out what happened to his partner. Maybe we can become his partner. We're, we're training to become a cop. All right, I got to speak to the hollow cop about the other cop that I was chatting with. Oh, he knows who we're talking about. Mr. K. Oh, we got a police badge. Go take it to K. Some about memories for him. Okay. New goal, give the badge to K. All right, let's head back over to the noodle place. We can do some work and also we can chat with uh, K. Give him the, the badge. And he's gone. Oh, and another trophy. Run, K, run. 
Sometimes secrets remain secrets. I have, I have a sneaky suspicion we haven't seen the end, okay? But yeah, for now, we tried to give him the badge. He didn't accept it. He said it was a tracking device and we should throw it in the bin. And he got the hell out of here. Now he's gone. For us, though, it's time to do some work. Close to a promotion as well, which is uh, which is always good. See if we can maybe get a promotion. No, we're not going to get a promotion. I think it finishes at 8 in the morning, so I don't think we're... I think we're going to need one more. But yeah, we're, gonna, we're just a little bit away from a promotion at the noodle stand. Right, let's go make some more noodles and get a promotion. I wonder if you can get more than one promotion. Alright, promotion. Told you I ain't leaving until I get my money back. Wait, what? Is everything alright? It's a refund one because the food were garbage, bro. I'll give you a promotion if you whack the guy. New goal, get a promotion. But I gotta fight him. How strong is he? Oh god, he's stronger than me. Only by a little bit though. Not much stronger. He's got a lot more moves than I do, that's for sure. Um, okay. Let's just give it a go, see what happens. Please, come on, can I win my first fight? Please. Oh my god. He's kicking the crap out of me. Come on, bro. Win your first fight. Come on. No. Oh, he's dodging everything, bro. I'm gonna lose again, bro. I'm gonna lose again. Oh, my guy is just getting knocked out, bro. I feel bad for him. He finally comes out of his house and he's... Everyone's just beating the crap out of him. He can't win a single fight. Oh, uh, yeah, we're definitely not winning this fight. All right, well, I guess we ain't getting a promotion yet. We're gonna have to uh, increase our stats a little bit. Oh, God. Come on, my guy can't catch a break. Your fighting skills are just as, as a bum as you're cooking, bro. What the? Come on, man. Come on, bro. All right, well, I guess I ain't getting a promotion until I can kick the crap out of this guy. Can I at least still work there? What about my promotion? No, I don't want to fight. No, 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 no. Cancel. No, I don't want to fight. I can't beat the guy. I already know I can't win. I'm going to get knocked out again. God damn it, bro. All right, fight available. Can I win my first fight now? Off to Silver's gym. I'm gonna have a rematch with that guy and hopefully I can win my first fight, bro. Come on, we can do it, bro. We can do it. Surely we can beat this guy now. Yeah, we got this, bro. We got two, three, and two. This is, he's got all ones, right? We've, we've won this, bro. There's no way we're gonna lose this, right? Surely. Oh no, I'm already low on health. I didn't realize I came into the fight injured. Uh oh, I mean, we can maybe still win. Dude looking like, um, what was he called from Mortal Kombat? With a the, with the metal thing on his face. Kano. Dude's like Kano with that eye. Right, I think we got this because we was like super low on health and we're, we're still like kind of drawing with him. So I think we can pull this off. It's going to be super close, but we finally, my guy finally won a fight, bro. Finally won a fight. Let's go, my guy. My first win. Holy shit. It's a miracle, bro. It's a miracle. Oh, and I get a trophy as well. First winning. You feel the adrenaline pumping in your veins. Finally. Oh, we got some good person points for it as well. 185 we got now. We can unlock new fight abilities with these points. Let's check it out. So with the good person points, we get new moves. All right, it's going to teach us some defensive abilities, which we've got none. It's going to help us a lot, so that's cost 30, so we'll buy that. So that was dodge. Then we can also get block, which gives us the ability for a low kick. We've got side punch and middle kick as well. I mean, I'm guessing we're probably best just, like, grabbing all of these. Just grab as much as we can, and then we can how do I equip them? Oh, here we go. So I can equip the new moves. So now we've got a low kick and middle kick. So we'll put those on. And then we learn two defensive. So we've got the block and the dodge. So we can equip both of those. We've got no modifiers yet. I'm guessing these will unlock as we maybe complete tournaments or something. I don't know. But for now, characters definitely seeing a, a massive improvement of what we were. Need to make sure I go into the recovery thing as well. Get a massage. So I'm not low on health. Dude, that was so close. He kept knocking me on my ass. I was doing tons of damage. Leveled up my skills a lot, though. It's always good. So that was fight number two. All right, it's going good so far. Oh, nice. He did a lot of damage there. We're doing a lot of blocks as well. Hell yeah. Oh my god, we're going to win. going to get a promotion. My guy's actually like... Oh no. My guy's actually starting to show some real improvement now as well, which is, which is nice. It was close though. He almost got me there at the end. I'm sure I can fight for an amateur. Let's 
give you that promotion. Yeah, my first promotion. Sweet, a better bender. <laughs> okay. Secret fighting school called Samba. Focuses on strength and pressure. Keep your muscles toned. Samba. So we got like new abilities. Nice. You have unlocked a new fighting school. Congratulations. So these are your fighting schools. Oh, so we got the basic school. Now we got the Samba. New perks to act to activate them. You'll need to use a skill that belongs to this school. So these skills belong to the new fighting school. Oh, okay. So that's why all of those other ones was locked because we needed a new technique. So now we can learn an uppercut and we can get more points. We can use, we can learn how to feign. Sweet. So not only does getting promotions seem to obviously give us, get us more money, but it seems that it also unlocks the ability to learn new perks and, and moves and stuff. Right, okay, so we got $136 right now as well. So I think what I might do is I might buy that tape. Do you remember that tape that we need we needed to save up for for hundred dollars? Yeah, let's let's buy that now. Finally, there we go. Fair deal. Both of us get what we want. Yeah, it's definitely not a deal at all, mate. I have more if you want. Wait, what? He's, he's got more than one tape. He sold me one tape and he's got more than one. And now he's doubling the price of the second tape, bro. This shopkeeper is a hustler, bro. Man's a hustler. Oh my days. So now I've got a earn another 200 for the next tape. So I wonder if these tapes I'm going to be taking back on one. I feel like they might teach us new new moves or something. So let's go to Henry. Pass over, like hand over the tape and see what happens. Because if you remember when we watched the film with him last time, that taught us new new abilities. So this this will probably, I'd imagine, be the same. Hey, mate, you got the video tape. Nah, he's got more, bro. He's got more than one. He's charging me double for the next one, bro. It's ridiculous. I've been written on the tape. I wonder what's on it. Alright, let's watch it. Nice. So we watched the film stony oh it's clearly rocket okay stubborn and gifted boxer like sacrifices everything so now we got stony arms you want muscle like stony increase effectiveness of barbell training nice keep moving forward so we get more from the treadmill workouts oh so these are just like increases buffs in general to overall training okay so these tapes are probably worth getting as soon as possible if they give us those kinds of things right so we're gonna have to now save up 200 for this next tape so we today storm brewing since you're going out and bring something to help with a headache i just need some up for the headache go get some head medicine at apu shop next time i'm there new goal get medicine from apu shop okay cool need to get mum some medicine for a headache all right let's head over there now i don't know how much it's gonna cost hopefully it's not too much because i've only got not got much cash now after buying that tape do you have any head medicine how much is this gonna cost me 500 dollars wait as a treat did the dude literally did he actually just give me something for free am i am i is is this real right now? Did he legitimately give me something for free? Holy crap. That is something wrong with a guy. I think he's having a bad day. He's ill. All right, let's head back home. Give mum the medicine. Oh, she's sleeping. I'll leave her to sleep. Get out of here. I'm sleeping. I thought you I thought you had a headache, bro. I came to give you your bloody medications, bro. All right, well, okay. Oh, I can't even cook food either. Ah, uh, yeah, I can't cook any food because I've run out of um, the sleeping candy. We're going to have to go back and buy some. We've got $108, so we can at least buy some. So let's buy another 10 candies. So I'll stock up a little bit. Then I've got $86 left. I've got three of the cooking kits. So let's maybe buy... Let's just buy a bunch more of these. It's, I feel like it's always good to stock up on these because they give you so much. Um, they fill up so much of your hunger. I think you only really need two to completely fill it up. So, right. Now we can head home, get some food, and then uh, get some more money. Yeah, so they're full again now, which means I can eat there we go um, she still doesn't need the medicine right now so we're gonna head over to the gym all right can we give her the food now not the food sorry the medicine yep i got you the medicine there you go oh she gave us some chocolate has he got a thing for her or something all right so i've got a decent amount of money so i might buy some of these so i can do the didn't i get like a perk or something for the barbell and the treadmill so let's fix both of those and then potentially we might not need to spend as much money at the gym we might be able to just do most of our training from home for free so we'll, we'll see how that goes we'll do work and then we'll we'll head home and check out our new stuff oh nice I got enough money to buy the punching ball as well. There we go. So we've I've repaired all three of the ones I can repair. So now let's head home and check them out. I'd imagine at some point we're, we're going to move out of this place anyway. Maybe get like a new bed and stuff because obviously this place is definitely not somewhere we want to stay. Maybe after the first tournament we can we can move out. Yeah, so the treadmill, 
now works and they they work as well but yeah we've still got the trading mat and then of course we've got the shitty bed so definitely would love to improve that for now though gonna get a little bit of rest get some food and uh try these out so the barbell said we improve faster doing this so yeah so we can train from home now a bit nicer so uh yeah let's, let's keep improving and uh winning fights all right i'm getting revenge bro this bald geese is going down i've leveled up so much since the last time we fought yeah i'm gonna whip his ass this time come on bro i'm back got some new moves increase my power you screwed bro it's over easy win this bro easy win you got nothing for me now i'm getting my promotion oh the thing is back there as well the ex-cop you can see me sat down there he's wait what the hell just happened there dude just almost knocked me out bro Oh my, what is happening, bro? Stop falling down. Is it the rain? Are my shoes slipping? What, what, what's going on here, bro? Oh, you can't lose, bro. You can't lose again. I was so confident. Bro, bro, bro. We're going to lose again, bro. It's just... Come on, three-piece combo right now. Three-piece and a soda. God damn it, I got knocked out again. I'm never going to beat this guy. He's got an iron chin, bro. God damn. Oh, is this the... Oh, this is the cocky geezer. All right, let's beat the shit out of this guy. He's so cocky. There we go. We got him. This cocky little turd. Close though. I need to improve my uh, stamina, I think. Because when you're stamina. Oh, a trophy. No more bullying. You taught that guy some manners. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so I need to improve my stamina because I've noticed when your stamina gets dead low, your character will continue doing attacks. Well, that's when my character keeps falling down. You know, when he keeps getting knocked down, it's because my stamina drains and that's what's knocking me down. So I definitely need to improve that. Oh, I don't know how I've only just noticed. There's another little reference there as well. You see the little robot next to the taxi? I'd imagine that's Futurama. Little Bobo. Come to the abandoned house at night. I've got something interesting to show you. That doesn't sound fishy at all, but all right. I guess we'll uh, we'll get over there. Get some food first. Man's hungry. Abandoned house. Let's see what's going on with this. Yep, I came alone, mate. No tail, not since I was born. <laughs> okay, I uh, work as a hacker. What? Can hack the GPP system? Oh, okay, for a fee. Yo, you can give me all that GPP, bro. I need that stuff. I need. What was it, 9,000 to get to the upper area? Okay, so every time we go for, we have a fight, we can first come to the abandoned place, talk to Bobo, and get extra points for the win. Oh, but there's a give and take. So not if you win, you get more, but also if you lose, you'll lose more. So it's not just positive stuff. So basically, if we know the fight's really easy, we can come here and chat with him. But if we feel like the fight could be a possible loss, then maybe we don't. Right, let's see if I can finally beat this guy. If I don't if I don't beat this guy now, I'm gonna I don't even know, bro. I'm just like I'm just gonna retire, bro, if I lose this fight again. Alright, come on. Come on, Iron Chin. There's no way you're gonna beat me now. I've upgraded so much. I've got new moves. I've got better defense. I figured out my whole stamina thing that it's to avoid it getting too low although it's already getting quite low oh no oh i've got the wrong fighting style on all right there we go i was using the wrong fighting style if i lose this now it's because i i, I selected the wrong fighting style oh no come on don't do this to me bro don't do this to me bro no right i only need to hit him one more time i think i've won because i'm gonna get a little bit of stamina back now one hit and he's over come on just hit him one time bro you are you I've, there's just no way, bro. There's no way to struggle, bro. I'm retiring. It's over. It's GG, bro. Right. I'm not retiring. I take it back. The next time we face him, though, 100 million billion percent, we will win the next fight. I swear we will win the next one. 100%. <laughs> oh, my God. I won. Just holy shit on a stick. I finally beat the geezer. Bro, you should be signing up for fights, mate, because you are one difficult motherfucker to take down. Right, I want my freaking promotion, bro. Oh, we got another fight in school. Taekwondo. Taekwondo. Yo. Okay. Sweet. That's a matrix. Finally, though, beat this guy, man. I can, I can rest easy now. Go, go take out some slimes that escaped. Bring them back in one piece. Find the slimes in the sewers. Probably best resting up first because my energy is super low. I'm not sure which way we're supposed to be going, like, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Let's just keep moving down this way, I suppose. What's this? I don't know what that is. AirPod. What did it say? AirPods right or something? I don't even know. Pizza. Okay. Ninja Turtles have been down here. Nunchucks. Whoa, like Michelangelo's. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's a dead end. We've got some ninja beavers. Nice. We beat him. 
And we got another trophy as well. Fighting is cool. You won 10 fights. You get better and better at this. So there's Mix old house. We've got to go there to uh, talk to this geezer that looks like Steven Seagal. The old gym. Oh, we're gonna build up a new gym. Broken hard drive. Scientist in a lab. Find the professor. Remodel mix office. How much is this gonna cost, bro? This is a shithole, but I mean, it beats being at home with his mum. At least I don't have to worry about what time I'm cooking food and stuff. Wait, did he say he's in the sewers? Spirit of the past. You have a strange feeling about this place. All right, so we're gonna have to build this place up then. I don't know how much it's gonna... Oh, it doesn't cost money. It costs respect. I think that was the, the respect. So we need to earn respect so we can start building this place up. Okay, I'm down. Oh, it doesn't cost respect. You get respect for doing it. And we get a promotion after in a second. Promotion. Okay, so we've improved it a little bit. We've Kind of sorted out that that right area we can do more this time it takes five but we can continue renovating the place continue getting more respect looks like we're running low on hunger though so we're gonna have to head home get some sleep and food and then we'll get our asses back over here and continue renovating the place let's go over to the uh the dream lab see what's going on over there you the mad scientist talk about scientists but i'm mad <laughs> need your help with a broken hard drive get the spare parts all right, this might be the final thing we need to fully renovate this place. Maybe once I get this final promotion thing. Oh, hell yeah. Look at that. Goal complete. Got our own little punch club er like area now. I don't really know what we can do with it. There's nothing we can do right now. I mean, it looks cool, but there's no one around. There's nothing for me to do. Maybe I need to advance the story a little bit more. Maybe I need to buy some, some stuff. Maybe I can bring the stuff from home and, and put it in there. I'm not sure, but... We'll figure it out. All right, we're almost done studying law. So I think I've done all of the studying now that I needed to do. Wait, what? I remember back home. It was a dream in the whole thing. All right, let's go back to the police station. I finished doing all the studying, so I'm, and then my character fell asleep, so I'm not too sure. Oh, I need to do more studying. God damn it, bro. All right, more studying then. So it's like chapter freaking eight or something of studying. All right, there we go. It's another bit of studying done. Am I almost done now? Congratulations. So now you know all the laws of the city. Oh, finally, I've fully researched it. There we go. Read the book. Goal complete. Now you all you need to become a policeman is to prove your worth. Get at least 2,000 GPP and I'll contact you. Okay, so now all we need to do, we know all the rules to be a policeman. We know all that good stuff. So yeah, all we need now is 2,000 and we've got 1,498. So basically another 510 and we can finally be become a policeman okay here we go casey place is a maze We've got the turtles on the wall <laughs> this is ridiculous that's bill mutated assassin crocodile what's the password bro punch club really just added two at the end all right so we got the password now mix password activate mick all right let's go give him the password all right so mix old house so i'd imagine we go over here and reactivate him and now we're gonna start up our own like punch club nine simple letters and one so obviously we we repaired this place up nice it's good to be alive got a trophy feels like something came out of the graveyard spooky so mick's been brought back from the dead that's kind of cool that's a cool reference and we're going to be training with mick oh we might actually have a new place to sleep finally i don't have to go back into that freaking horrible place and it's a gym as well so we're gonna buy some equipment and this will be our new place i think it's even got an arcade cabinet. What more can you ask for, you know? Nice. Is that a giant snake going down there? What the fuck? Right, so I think this is what we needed from the sewers. Slimes for Bobo. Oh, trophy. Your own way. Now you have your own fighting style. Oh, nice. So I guess those three skills there wherever the hell they just went these three are classed as like new fighting styles so path of the lazy bear dancing monkey and angry tortoise so i got the tortoise one and then you can see on the left there where i've got my uh so obviously i got my moves there my perks there and now i can see the three new styles Oh, another trophy. Workout professional. Raise any stat to 15. All right, so we got the hollow device for Emmett. Mix 
hollow device. So now we should be able to chill around the area. Nice, the legend is back. All right, so now we're gonna, I guess we're gonna open up the gym, become a trainer. Right, so before we can do it, we gotta become the champion in the silver league. So we're not opening the gym just yet, but we've got basically got everything prepared for once we uh, become champion and enter the next phase. Got special delivery for you, bro. Some noodles. You got whipped, son. All right, delivery complete. Now I gotta go deliver some noodles to Henry as well. There you go, there's your noodles, bro. Enjoy. Delivered all the noodles, so now I can head back and should get my final promotion now, I think. Nice, trophy as well, employee of the year. You're the most valuable employee. What next? Sweet. So see if I can maybe max my employee rank promotion for the other two jobs that I've got as well. Power of music. Only the worthy may pass. Do you think you're worthy, son? Uh, yeah. AirPods? Okay. Oh, I actually have AirPods. I found some in the sewers. Yeah, I've got some AirPods. Does that mean I'm worthy? Hey, there you go. Take your AirPods, bro. Wait, oh, trophy as well. Now you are worthy. When you have something useful for me, you will be worthy. So yeah, to become worthy, I needed to give him AirPods. All right, so this could possibly be the final fight. This guy's number one. So I don't, don't know if beating number one is gonna become the champion or if I become number one and then have to beat the champion after. Let's beat the shit out of this guy. All right, it's over for this guy. He's got no stamina. I'm gonna hit him and he's just gonna fall. He's gonna lose anyway after the next hit. There we go, over. All right, so let's see if we become champion now. Oh, we have to do one more fight. Hey, we got a trophy though. Fight for life. You've racked up 25 wins. You can't imagine yourself without fighting. Hell yeah, brother. Big man with implants. Oh, and another. There we go, champion. Starter pack. You're the best among the worst. New horizons await, which means we're on chapter two now as well. Big enough. So we're now the little league's champion. So now we're moving on to the next league. Join the professional league. Come find me in my office in the skyscraper. You know why I'm calling, I guess not. Ready to... Oh my god, I'm gonna become a policeman as well. So we're gonna become a policeman, and we gotta go visit the skyscraper. All right, well first, let's go become a policeman. Make sure you're around the office. New goal, become a policeman. Get a uniform. <laughs> There we go. We're official. Hey, look look in the uh, the background as well. It looks like uh, Johnny Silverhand from Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs> There's an unreal amount of references in this game. All right, so I've come up into the uh, skyscraper. We're talking to this shifty geezer. The room kind of reminds me of like the final boss fight though from Streets of Rage. Yeah, so he takes a fee out of each of my fights. Of course he does. Okay, so we're now going to enter into a new tournament. Division 2 we're in now. We've got all these guys to fight. So many of those look super familiar. <laughs> all right, so we have to work our way through the ranks again. Challenge our first guy. I receive $40. So at least we're actually getting money for fights now because before we wasn't getting any money from fights, I don't think. So the fight's between six and half 11. Don't be late or you'll get a technical defeat. That's lots of shame. Okay, so now we can't miss fights either because we'll be penalized for it. Okay, so the fight's in five days. Right, so I'm gonna head back to Mick's place because I remember Mick said come back once we've advanced a little bit so maybe now we can open up the gym the new champ we've got everything we need there we go goal complete so now we're a, a trainer as well first lesson starts in a few days i'll show you everything you need okay get some students oh and a trophy as well own four walls now you have your own place to live no mum disturbing anymore. Oh my god, thank god we don't have to worry about waking up his mum when we want to eat, bro. That is beautiful. And now we're sleeping on the sofa. I mean, as bad as a sofa sounds, it's so much better than whatever the hell that was that we were sleeping on before. So, I'll take what I can get, bro. Oh, we got an arcade machine as well for entertainment. That's cool. Yeah, so now we can cook food and we don't have to worry about it. That's so, so much better, bro. Duty is over. Finished your first duty shift. Nice. You didn't reach the minimum requirements for today, but I'll let it slide since it's your first time. Well, thank you. you can move into your service apartment now. Get an apartment. It's a standard apartment issued to each police officer. Near the skyscraper. Oh, nice. Hell yeah. I didn't know about that. When do I get the keys? 
Just use your head. GPP chip is the key. Oh, sweet. Hell yeah. My first day on the job complete. Didn't do that great of a job, but we'll improve for next time. Jesus, this counts as a standard apartment. Damn, luxury bed. So I don't even have to sleep at the gym now. I can come back here and sleep in this beautiful thing. Wait, why did he just say hello? Well, hello, Lucille. <laughs> Walking Dead reference as well. Chill sofa. Oh my God, look at this. This is baller, bro. Oh my, my guy is making some plays right now. My dude's living the life. All right, here we go. My first fight. Let's do it. See how it goes. Oh shit, check that out. We've actually got a bit of an audience now. So now we've got a bit of an audience. We're in division two. And we're even going to make a little bit of money from, from the fights, which is it's a nice little bonus. It's not much money, but it's definitely better than uh, than nothing. And from the looks of things, I feel like we've got this fight in the bag. One more hit and we got him. So we're in round four, bro. Oh, that was a nice spinning wheel kick. Done. We have to go to the skyscraper geezer to tell him that we, uh, we finished the fight. And we can sign up for a new fight as well. Oh, so now people challenge me as well. So this guy's challenging me to a rematch. So we're going to rematch him. Wait, what just happened, bro? Training begins. I wasn't prepared, bro. I've got no energy left. Bro, I wasn't ready for this. I literally got no energy. Practice some basic moves. Practice punch. Not bad for a first timer. To make progress, you'll need to improve your fighting abilities and work out a lot. Training is complete when the minimum bar is filled. So we failed the minimum. Again, talk to the students to retain reputation. Training is over. My guy is busy, bro. He's got a gym that he's training people. He's a police officer. He's got three side jobs. He's training for fights. Oh my god, I won by one point. Jesus, that was so close. Oh, trophy as well. Legal courier. You have defeated your right to be a legal. No, you have defended your right to be a legal courier. Okay. All I wanted to do is buy some donuts. I won my first fight. I wanted to celebrate with some donuts. And this geezer shows up trying, trying to beat me down, bro. Yeah, go away. My donuts, mate. All right, I gotta go and take the donuts to the, the manager. Victory. Oh, nice trophy. No blades in the gym. You've proven yourself in the police. You will be better now at paperwork. Sweet. Yeah, so we just finished our first kind of job outside of uh, the actual police station. Invite another student. You need more gym equipment. Um, where can I get it? A junkyard, I guess. We have to pay a premium. Okay, let's go get some new new gear. I mean, it says pay a premium, but we've got, what, 1,444, so we're pretty good on money. So hopefully I can afford it all. I should be able to. Maybe to the junkyard. Let's see what kind of prices I'm going to have to pay for this stuff. So we can get the Wing Chun, Horizontal Bar, and Punching Bag. They're all 240 each, so I can afford all of them. Sweet. All right, back over to Mix. And now we should have a bunch of new gear. Nice. This place is looking better and better. I love it. All right, so we got a new goal. Go to the... What is it? The town ghetto at night and help a guy. Yeah, so we need to help a guy to... Because we need to recruit new members. Man, I just wasted that guy. Oh, what? Well, I got to fight again. Another one wasted. Bro, three fights in a row. What is this? There we go. Beat them all up. All three of them. So this is the new kid I'm saving. The new recruit. Gonna bring him to the gym. Train him up. Sweet. Oh, trophy as well. Escaped from a big trouble. He helped some poor guy out. And now he's your student. Beautiful. Nice. All right. Beat them all up. So I think I'm recruiting another member for the, the gym. Yeah, we are doing. Nice. See you at the next training session. Oh, yeah. And another trophy as well. Guiding on the right path. You have inspired a young mind. And he's your student now. You freaking broke into my house, bro. You watchman looking piece of turd. Going down, bro. Oh, this is a close fight, bro. Come on, hit him a little bit more. Yes, come on, one more hit. Yes, finally. Failed a few times on this guy, but done. Get out of my house, bro. Oh, we got a trophy as well. Fight is life. That makes 50 wins. You've devoted your life to fighting. Sweet. Yeah, you should probably stop breaking into people's apartments, especially smashing through my window. I don't even know how you got through there, bro. This is a skyscraper. Another trophy. Get out of my apartment. You've proven yourself as a policeman. You'll be better now in patrol. All right, we got this drunken fool trying to lead his mate into some into doing something stupid. So we're going to beat this guy up and uh, hopefully recruit his, his mate to get ourselves another gym member. Oh, this is a close fight. 
Oh, that was so close. We beat him, though. That guy was pretty brave. And he was probably Scottish as well. We got another volunteer. Here we go. We're actually, like, really building this thing up now. It's looking way better than when, it, when we started. We've got a bunch of new members. Here we go. Oh, and another trophy. Responsible approach. You gave someone hope, and now... He's your student. All right, we've gone to the uh, the nightclub because there's a riot or something. Looks like we've got a familiar face. He's causing some trouble. We might have to end up beating him up again, poor guy. Maybe we, we should recruit that guy as well. Drunk guy's scaring away and he's wearing a skirt. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Just knocked him down from stamina. Should have this. Two punches maybe and I think we might have him if my character decides to hit him. Oh, one more. Come on, do it. Hit him one more time. No. Oh, there we go. That was so close. Riot taken care of. Situation at the nightclub is under control. Hell yeah, brother. Walls, balls everywhere. <laughs> got promotion as well. Rang the last... Bell. You've shown you're a real cop. You'll have an easier relationship with colleagues. Oh my god, it's gonna get a love interest. Oh, trophy. Mysterious voice. She sounds so alluring and confident. What? His mum died with her. She was playing on conscience. Got an ambulance. Jesus, she's at the hospital. Go check on mum. At least she won't have any trouble sleeping now. <laughs> Alright, off to the hospital then. See what, uh, what's going on. I need surgery. After I pay for it. Oh, this is gonna cost an arm and a leg. She doesn't have any insurance. Okay. Well, luckily, I've been saving up quite a lot of money. I think I've got like 10 grand. So I'm probably gonna be able to pay for it. How much is it? Okay, with his hand. What? 42? There's no way. 42 grand? I thought I was rolling in dough having 10 grand, but 40 something? Every day that she spends there costs you a small fortune. Holy cow. Can I not pay in installments? Something like. Oh god. Alright, get money for Adrian's treatment. Ask the sergeant for help and ask Mick for help. Okay. Deal with life. Your mum took care of you. Now it's up to you to take care of her. So we're gonna ask the students to put flyers up and we're gonna spam social media. Right, so we've got to become a sensei. That's gonna bring in a little extra money. Right, so Mick's helping out. Now let's go over to the police station and see if we can get more help from the sergeant. Launched a new initiative, medical insurance for police officers and the families. Ooh, that's perfect timing. I have to become a detective. Ooh, I'm getting promotion. Wait, so I can't do both? Okay, I'm gonna have to choose a side, it seems like. Ooh, wait, what, I'm a detective? The die is cast. You made your choice. It was totally worth it. Wait, no, I didn't want to become a detective. I wanted to become a sensei. God damn it. No, I wanted to be a sensei, bro, not a detective. Right, well, I made a save just in case maybe I need a trophy to become both of them. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to load up my save and become a sensei. Because I want to be a sensei because it's way cooler than a detective. Plus, it makes more sense for my character, you know, with him being a fighter and stuff. All right, we're back at the hospital. So I guess now if we're a detective, Detective, it means we can also help her out for free with the uh, the perks of the job. Give me a souvenir. Oh, she had a chip inside her head. I wonder if that was what was making her have like sleeping issues. Which means it might be good for me to install it in my character's head so he doesn't have to sleep. <laughs> means I can get a hell of a lot of more stuff done. All right, she's fine now. Oh, and another trophy as well. Mum got better. It's nice to see mother smile again. All right, here we go. So I should be able to come a sensei now instead of a detective. Oh, she's in trouble. Needs the monies. Nice, right, so they're all coming together. I helped all them out. Now, now they're helping me. You'll love to see it. And now I'm a sensei. Let's go, brother. And then I've got to become a master. We love you, sensei. Hell yeah, brothers. Yeah, I feel like this path makes way more sense and is way more cooler than, than being a detective, you know? I can't, like, ditch Mick and all these guys that I've, I've helped out, you know? Didn't get a trophy, though, for becoming a um, sensei, so maybe it's not really missable. You can choose whichever path you want and, and not miss out on a trophy, it seems. Unless there's maybe a trophy right at the end when you fully finish that job, maybe. Wow. Holy jeez, he turned on me quick. Wow, okay, that was super rude. Well, I definitely uh, made the right choice. All right, I'm out of here. Place sucks. Oh, nice. We can buy some more stuff for the uh, for the gym. We got jumping rope, tire and hammer, and parallel bars. Quite expensive, but we've got 10 grand, so we can easily afford all of it. Let's go back to the gym. All right, back at the gym we are. We've got our new gear. Wait, what? 
got himself a body, but it's messing with him. Jeez, I don't do much damage, do I? Nice, got it. Oh, a trophy as well. Anyone can resist. Slimes can rise up too. Why not? Yeah, so Apu went missing and uh, turns out he's down in the sewers. I feel like we should lose this fight, you know? Nice, we got him. Sorry, Kiyu. Gang Wrangler. You proved you're not to be messed with. That's our last seashell. Right, let's go give him the seashells. Seashell Hunter. Trophy and some cash. You found all of the lost shells. Apu is happy. Ooh, chapter three. Like a champ. New goal, become absolute champion to get to Upper City. Okay, well, more fights to do. Took that last guy out super easy. And this dude's just annoying. Every time he wants to celebrate, he tells me to go and get him some donuts. And then I bring donuts and he just says the party's not on anymore. Absolute time waster. <laughs> and he does this weird surfer thing as well. I don't know what that's about. I'm just going to go over there, get in his stupid massage chair. Hey, champion. No way back. You won the second division. The absolute championship is so close. Wait, there's a win. One of my students got mixed up with some crazy robots. We call it the Robov Club. <laughs> oh, he wasn't my student. He wants to become a student. Okay. Wow, this is the coolest place in the world. I agree, bro. I'm glad you think so. We kind of need to fix that sign, though. The Punch Club sign is looking a bit faded, you know? Someone needs to come and paint that thing. Maybe we need to bring out the paint again. Cyborg problems. Your levery fist proved mightier than his metal bits. It's metal bits, okay. Alright, so we're now in Division 1. Got my first fight with Nick Stoneballs. Oh, there's Kasuma as well. Kiyu, some dude. <laughs> Undercover robot. Jax. Oh my god, we gotta fight Jax at the, to get the championship. Half-naked Brad. Alright, let's, uh, let's sign up for the fight. All right, we're going to have to fight this wrestler dude. So we had to come down to the sewers. Some of my students have been falling for a trap. Um, some like prime pair of sneakers or something that, that people are falling for. So we, this dude put some trap where people try and grab the sneakers and then he traps them. I didn't fall for it. Now I've got to come and beat him up and damn, he does a lot of damage. And put an end to this. All right, Sensei's back. Took care of it. Did I get the sneakers? No, I didn't get the sneakers. Congratulations, kid. You're a new student to the gym. All right, so yeah, we recruited. Uh, one of my other students' brothers. See him next training session. I'm not gonna have much more room for any more people. I've got so many students now, it's kind of crazy. Trap disarmed. Uh, you finally put an end to all of the unpleasant brutality. The city is saved. <laughs> okay. Noodle man. Noodle man's back at it again. Your noodle man. My last opponent was poison, bro. It's going crazy for the noodles, bro. Beat the wild customer. I've already beat this dude before. Him in his freaking iron chin. Oh yeah, this guy's got no chance. Oh, I am absolutely decimating him. Damn, he just got wrecked. Too many noodles for you, bro. You need to lay off the nudes. Trophy as well. Poisoned fighter. It's your lucky day that you're not him. Hey, everybody, gather round. Okay, what's up, Mick? I remember how he died. He fell asleep on the couch. Ooh, am I gonna become the master? Hell yeah, careerist. You've made a real career for yourself. Your mother can be proud. Jesus, that damage. Bonkers. All right, final fight, Jax. Let's go, Jax. Oh, oh, Jax. Yo, chill, 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 my guy. You got some power on you, bro, when you hit You'd actually hit me, holy sh Jesus. All right, this is, uh... It's gonna be a close one. I might lose this. Oh, if I can hit him now, though. Drain his energy. Oh, he's gonna drain my energy, though. This is such a close fight, bro. This is so close. Come on. Come on. One more hit. No. Yes. Yes. There we go. If he did a couple of attacks there, I think he would have beat me. There we go. Champion. Woo! Chapter three and a half. Okay. Down the memory lane. All right. Oh, yeah. Absolute champion. You're the most powerful fighter there is now. Right? Maybe not. I think his dad might be. Imagine he had to fight his dad. Alright, so what have you got for me, bro? Have you got my chip so I can get in the uh, upper city? Alright, so the janitor's undercover. 
All right, let's give him my chip. Super secret evidence. Bring the chip to Uncle Barry. All right, we got the chip. We gotta go and hack it at Lil Bobo's. Wait, where's Lil Bobo? Right, so he's not able to hack it for me. Contact Carla at the old garage. Yo, Carla, what up? I'm gonna scan it, but we'll need a memory scan device. We're gonna have to make it. We're gonna build a scanner device, okay. Then we're gonna need software, and then a scanning algorithm. Contact her when I have everything. Okie doke. We've now got the final piece for the device all right so now we can assemble the device so let's head back home back to the garage i've got everything okay so now we've crafted it we've got to install the drivers sweet and a trophy no little hacker you don't know how it happened but somehow you're an expert and stuff like this keep nature safe now you know where the slimes came from. This mysterious dude, bro, is, seems like he's running the show. So this is what happened to uh, Kay, the ex-detective that we found over near the noodle place. He was like all depressed and stuff. He's been, during an investigation, he was kind of like set up. Family comes first. Let it be good. Do what you should. Those poison noodles are doing tests on the customers with the food. Better cooking at home. Uh, you figured out what was behind the poisoned food. Jesus, so he, he acted like he helped him, but he didn't. Silver's past. Is there anything Silver told you that wasn't a lie? Holy, what the hell? Just vaporized him, bro. Uh-oh. This ain't gonna go well. Oh my god, Martin actually helped him. Maybe he's not a dick after all. So that's how Martin died. How he became a uh, hologram. But that's why Kay fell into a, a depression. And he was just hanging out at the uh, the noodle bar drinking all the time. I was taking the chip out. Oh, key memories. You've done your own investigation and now you know how things work in this city. Bro, what the hell? The annoying geezer was, was K all along? What? Okay, I was not expecting that. Oh my god, I've still got the badge that he gave me from forever ago. He did tell me to throw it away, to be fair. All right, he's got to go get to his mum and save her. No, don't shoot me, bro. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> okay, Carla's a car. Okay, it makes perfect sense. Another trophy. The Lonesome Road. You took your first trip outside the town. We're living in a post-nuclear world. It's just that one city and then everything's scorched. Robots, thousands and thousands. Okay, sounding all too familiar. Might find some Terminators. The leader is cool, but life has taken a toll on him. The leader's gonna be his dad. We thought he was at the upper city living the life, but seems like he's probably gonna be the leader of, of a resistance. The hell is there like a Star Wars TIE fighter thing in the background there? <laughs> Another trophy. Damn, we're getting all the trophies. The heart of the resistance. This place holds a lot of answers. What the hell? Pizza. You got some more pizza for me? That's my dad's brother. Oh. The nukes are going off. So all this was done by an evil cat. Okay. That's ridiculous. There's a dolphin? Cybernetic dolphin. He's the guy we need to hack into the upper city. Upper city isn't a city, it's a program, a cage, a virtual reality program where your father's being kept. We need to get in there and find the switch to turn off the simulation. This story just got ridiculous and I'm here for it. <laughs> All right, we're going in. Here we are, we're in this simulation and we got a trophy. Another world. Don't stay here for too long or your eyes will get tired. <laughs> Snake! 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 Oh, we almost got him. 
trophy. Gym professional. Raise any stat to 30. Oh, nice. During the uh, this VR area, you can kind of redistribute your uh, your stats. So I was kind of specking into strength for this fight because it's got so much health. And uh, yeah, got myself another trophy. I think we only need like two more trophies. One more trophy. There's only 50 trophies and one's the platinum. So we literally need one more trophy, which means we should probably get it, I'd imagine, after beating the game. And, and then we'll get the platinum. Jesus. This is such a close, grueling fight. It's taking so long. Come on. Nice. There we go. Have I finally beat him? It was three rounds of... Well, not three rounds, but like three different fights I needed to do with a guy. It's crazy. Okay, now he's the Matrix. Oh, all right. There he is. There's his dad. He's been using him the whole time with the medallion to power up this virtual reality. You filthy, filthy animal. <laughs> Bad kid. All right, so what do we do? Just pull the lever. Ooh, what do we do? Turn off upper city. Don't turn off upper city. I mean, we've got to turn it off, right? Surely? We can't have him staying here. Turn off upper city. Trophy, the only right decision. Your dad is so proud of you, which means we're now, what, 100%? I'm proud of you. Father and son collect all the trophies. The platinum has been achieved, and now there's aliens and E.T. <laughs> this story is ridiculous. To be continued, oh, we're gonna get a sequel. I am 100% down for a sequel. I've absolutely loved this game. I've enjoyed this game way more than I thought I would. I thought I would enjoy it just because I'm into this type of game, but I was actually like really into the story because it's absolutely ridiculous, but the game is itself as well was just so much fun. Thoroughly enjoyed this game. Definitely recommend going and checking it out. That's going to be it for this one. That's been Punch Club 2. I've been Mr. Leaning. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you all on the next video.